Hi, I'm joined here today by Bryony and I'm going to show her how to make a recipe that she's always wanted to try. And I am Bryony and I'm hoping to learn some new ways to cook. I had my urostomy in 2012 and since then I put on quite a bit of weight and that caused a terrible problem with my stoma. So cooking in a different way has become very important for me. So the dish we're going to make today is squid with sambal bella can cucumber and lime salad i know you love squid yes i do and <laughs> it's very often deep fried yes. and that's a very very fatty way of eating it so we're going to try something a bit more low fat and healthier and lean today first thing we need to do is prepare the squid right i'm going to show you have you prepared a squid before uh, from no scratch? i haven't i always get them do ready done so okay so here it is right it's a big well, one it is a big one huge <laughs> okay so the first thing we're going to do is take off this outer layer here Sort of get your thumb under it like that and it peels away. So did you have any problems, any dietary issues you had to deal with before the surgery? Uh, no I didn't really. Um, I guess I was always slightly overweight but it certainly wasn't a problem up until I had the urostomy. But unfortunately if you put on weight when you have a stoma it retracts and that's just terrible. <laughs> okay, so, so what did you do to overcome the problems that you had then? Well, I struggled for about a year really with leaks and all sorts of uh, sore skin problems. Eventually I had to go and see a dietitian, and then I changed the whole way I eat. So what did so you change exactly? I cut out a lot of carbohydrate. Right. I cut out a lot of sugar. Uh -huh. And what you'd say probably is a healthy diet. Okay, so we've taken all the inside part of the squid out. I'm just going to give it a rinse in some water. Yeah. Has the quill come out? Yes. Yes, oh, there it is. There we are. So aside from change your diet then, so you had to, you stopped eating or re reduce the amount of carbohydrate you are eating. I did. And had a lower fat diet. Lower fat diet. And the thing that I found too was that because my bowel had been shortened with the surgery, mm -hmm. you wouldn't think of it with a urostomy. No. But I could not eat very fatty, greasy, rich food. Right, okay. And it's what a lot of people wouldn't think with a urostomy. No. And were there particular products that you used to help, or was it mainly about the diet for you? Um, no, it wasn't. I tried all sorts of different products, and then I found Trio, and uh, they were just putting the Elise and the Elite products out. And um, the Elise was wonderful for me, because my skin was so sore mm. around where the leaks had been yeah. um, and so I started using that and the uh, adhesive remover from Trio mm -hmm. and the two together really helped helped it all heal. Wonderful. Um, yeah so that made a huge difference. Okay so this is the squid here yeah. so this here is called sambal belacan right. so this is a Malaysian condiment it's made from chilies, shrimp and lime juice. Well, that sounds wonderful. It is it's lovely. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's delicious. It's quite spicy, so we'll just use a little bit of it. Right. But I can do spice. You can? Okay, let's yeah. put loads on. <laughs> Actually, while Sam did that, would you mind just picking some yeah, coriander leaves? That'd be lovely. So I'm going to spread a little bit of this. And squid. And then, because we want to avoid using too much fat, yes. I'm going to turn on the stove, a really high heat, and then we're going to dry fry it very quickly. Right. So no batter, no, no deep fat fryer. So I'm just going to leave that for a minute, just to marinate a little bit. Yeah. And then for a salad, we've got some cucumber here. So we're going to make a really simple salad to go with this. Just cucumber, lime juice and salt, and that's it. It's a really nice, fresh, crunchy counterpoint to the squid. Right. Just cut this up into smaller pieces. With the reduction in carbohydrate, then what kind of things do you eat instead? Do the carbs that you used to eat? I don't really. I eat an awful lot more vegetable now. Okay. And, um, with the new ways of spiralising and things. I eat all the sort of courgettes and stuff right, instead okay. of rice and pasta. Yeah, courgette. This is similar to a spiralised vegetable, I suppose. It's yes. going to be sort of shredded cucumber, yeah. long thin strips. So what advice would you give to somebody who had recently had surgery and wasn't really sure about how to go forward with diet and, and what to eat and what to avoid? To not give up things. I think if you give up things, then you really want them. Yeah, that's <laughs> so true. So to have the things you like, but have them as treats. Right. And not to have them as a, 
regular diet, really. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, so we've got some lime juice and salt on there. Could you chop off a few of those coriander leaves for me, please? please. So, pan's nice and hot. So, this isn't taking long at all. It's getting a little bit of colour on each side. So, that was a very hot heat you had. It very, then. very hot, yeah. But what you can also do with this is you can cook it either on a char grill or on the barbecue outside. That oh. works as well. In, in any case, you're not, you don't need to add any fat to it in order to cook it. No. So, a little bit of salt and a bit of lime juice. Okay, so let's just shred this up. There we go. So, we've got our cucumber salad. Just cucumber, salt and lime. And it's nice with the hot squid and the cold cucumber as yes. well. Yes. I think sometimes you can make recipes too complicated, can't you? Isn't yeah, it? I think simple. simple is best. Simple. I mean, this is packed full of flavour, so that's a kind of a fermented chilli paste. So that's already had, a, had months of work gone into it. So you I mean, can buy that? Yes, right. precisely. Yeah, you can buy that. OK, let's have a little <laughs> bit more of that. Why not? Okay, so there you are. Thank you very much, that looks wonderful. So can I get to try it now? Absolutely, yeah. Oh, that's lovely, it's very spicy. <laughs> you did ask for extra. Nice, yes. <laughs> that's lovely, very tender, thank you. So there we have a low-fat way to enjoy squid. Mm.